here I'm going to show you how to make a custom setting. Uh, a lot of people are having problems with the um, Caesar glitter vinyl and their Cricut Explorers. It's not cutting all the way through. So in that case, um, go to Cricut Design Space, make sure you're logged in, turn your machine on, and then go to this little hamburger icon. That's what I call it here. Click on that and go down to Manage Custom Materials. Click on that and then it's going to detect your machine so if you have more than one machine you're going to have to choose one <clears throat> and then it's going to show all of your dial settings and all of your custom material settings like notebook paper aluminum foil all of that down at the very bottom you can click on add a new material right above that you can click and name a new material so I'm going to put in Caesar Glitter HTV, okay? And then I'm going to click Save. And then at the very top, you're going to have your pressure settings. Now I find that it cuts best at 250, so I'll set it at 250. If you can't get the slider to stop in the exact space, you can use the plus and minus. Um, Multi-cut is off and the regular blade you only have the choice of um, regular or deep cut okay and then i'm actually going to put a number one in front of this because i'll show you why in a minute and i'm going to click save okay then i'm going to click out of that and i'm going to make this little label here in glitter <clears throat> so i want to make sure that my machine is set to custom Click continue and then I'm going to have a menu to pick um, which setting I want. So I'm going to click view all and I'm going to look for the number one because as you can see they have seeds or glitter. They have I made this earlier. Actually, they don't have Caesar glitter, but they do have um, glitter iron on. It's here somewhere. So here's my number one. This is under my materials, okay? I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click done. And it's ready to go. Well, actually, I have to load my map, but it would be ready to go with my own custom setting. So I hope this helps you to learn how to make your own settings. If you're having problems uh, on my YouTube channel, I do have in my shorts playlist, I do have a test cut video and I do go over this, but it was in Design Space 2. So I thought I would do it for Design Space 3 now. So thanks for watching.